and welcome to Garblag Games. We're playing Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 4th Edition, and this is Flint and Steel! Hello and welcome to Episode 2 of Season 3 of Flint and Steel. I'm Pete, the Game Master, and in a moment we'll go around and everyone will tell you who they are and who they're playing. But before we do, please check out all of our social media links below. Also check out our Discord. We've got a growing community of role players talking about all kinds of things from map making to world building. And also please check out our Patreon. Everyone who supports us makes it a bit better for everybody else with all the kit and equipment that we can buy, uh, all the games that we're running, dice, etc., all those things. Thank you to our lovely patrons. You guys are awesome. Uh, and you're making all of this possible. 10% uh, of everything we get through our Patreon goes to Diabetes UK, so you're also helping a good cause. <clears throat> Another way you can support the channel is by supporting our friends. We have the Thornless Rose, who make our wonderful lasery leathery products, uh, such as right. D20 dice bags and rolling trays, and all kinds of LARP equipment as well. We have also our friends over at the Old World Podcast, if you want to know a bit more about the books, the design, uh, and the stories behind Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, as well as a bit of actual play role-playing as well, then go and check out the Old World Podcast. They're a great bunch. <coughs> Sorry, I'm bound of the weather. They're a great bunch of guys, and uh, there's a link for them below. Um, finally, uh, Bjorn Feller, our very own Mark, who is in our Dark Heresy show and will be starring in our Star Wars show, which is starting very soon, Fractured Empire. Uh, it's got some really cool uh, retro, electro, funky, um, dark, uh, political <laughs> music, which is really cool stuff. Uh, and we've got a link for him below as well. Anyway, that's about everything. So without further ado, I shall begin on my left. I'm not usually first. That's why I totally wasn't prepared. <laughs> Hello, I'm Leon, and I'm playing Corvin Athelbaum, a wizard of the law of light in the Empire. I am very brave and courageous, and, and everyone fear. is terrified of me. <laughs> Bluff. I <laughs> may have ended the last episode hiding in a barrel. Like a hero. <laughs> I'm Sam, I'm playing Morgan, Priest of Moor. Hi, I'm Roger, I'm playing Bagric Rolfson, the Dwarf Guard. Morja, my name is John, and I'm playing Sir Gale of Bordeloo, who is a human knight. From... Oh, I can't stop the accent now. <laughs> Where is he from? Bordeloo. <laughs> Which in is in Britain. Britain. <laughs> Britannia. Excellent. Unfortunately, uh, Lawrence can be with us because he's not very well today. Uh, so Torvald will be run by myself for the day. <clears throat> and you'll have to put up with a little bit of sore throat as I'm still not 100%. But anyway, last time on Flint and Steel. That's the one. Uh, we began our journey in Ubersreich um, with Corvin and um, the, the French guy. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I found that racist. That damn Bretonian. 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 <laughs> yes, that's the one. Uh, in an alleyway being attacked, uh, it turned out that they had been working for Mr. Tangerman, who is the patron of Bagric, Torvald and Morgan. Uh, from Nuln, who has come... <laughs> I'm back reckon Torvald. Oh, now Morgan. Now well. Morgan. Now Morgan as well. Um, who's come here from Nuln to investigate what's going on in the city as uh, the Emperor has sent various troops down to uh, take over uh, Ubersweig uh, from the control of Graf Sigismund von Jungfreund. <clears throat> now, this is all kind of a bit of a hullabaloo. The town seems to be under almost kind of martial law. Groups of Altdorf troopers wandering around, uh, beating people up, and you guys were quickly asked by Tangerman, who you had, uh, members from season two had been informed that he was dead. However, he hadn't died. He merely trying to put the information out there that he had, so maybe the assassination attempts might stop, uh, which is yet to be seen. <laughs> Please stop trying to assassinate me. <laughs> well, you guys have been... You know, now in his employ, they were trying to kill you as well. So it was uh, worth worth a shot. Um, however, you um, had been attacked by some ruffians who had a particular tattoo. 
and you found out that these people were from a tavern called the, uh, the Crooked, Crooked Hammer. Hammer. The Crooked Hammer. That's the one. Uh, so you decided that you'd go and investigate the Crooked Hammer. And there was a bit of toing and froing and checking out their sort of uh, their soup kitchen for the poor people, uh, which is actually a recruitment area for thieves. And there was also a bit of uh, let's go inside and have a chat uh, on Torvald's part. And he nearly got duffed over. Uh, and there were people wrestling in the tavern as recreational, rest, you know, fighting almost. Um, <clears throat> I mean, they were hurting each other, but they looked like they were kind of having fun. <laughs> Um, anyway, you guys all decided. <laughs> yeah, you guys all decided that you would um, regroup to have a chat. At which point, I believe Sir Gale and Corvid decided that they would provide a distraction in the front of house. Uh, in me, in the meantime. Bagrick would do the sneaking around the back. <laughs> so wasn't he sneaking around? No, I know. You were just I was sort of... told that we weren't supposed to go around the back, so that's where Bagrick wanted to go. That's the one, yes. Uh, and eventually, you found a way into the basement. <laughs> Made a way. Yeah, there was... Well, a... Someone was getting beaten up. Yeah, someone exactly. Was I was like going there to help them. Uh, uh, there was a, a man. Uh, uh, well, all we could hear was like, ow, Yes, ow, so eventually you, ow. you got in there, and there were two guys... Who wailing saw on a guy the armored to a tank of dwarf and ran away. In the meantime, it probably was sensible to be uh, Sir Gale and Corvin uh, were showing off their drinking skills. Trying to. Uh, <laughs> and Corvin unfortunately miscast a purified food and water spell uh, and saw something horrible in his drink and ran out and jumped in a barrel outside the pub. It was terrifying. It, it was absolutely terrifying. The ale was disgusting. Uh, the wine wasn't very good either, as Sir Gale found out. Uh, however, there were then four people in the room who seemed interested in potentially having a ruckus. A ruckus, uh, and uh, Sir Gale delivered a very good speech. If you haven't, if you haven't seen it, go back and watch episode one because that, that Dirty Harry speech was oh, fantastic. It's beautiful. They just, you were just. It was fortunate that they were Ranald. Uh, Ranald. It worked uh, very well because yeah, worshippers. <clears throat> anyway. So you asked them if they were feeling lucky. Uh, oh, and, and then as they kept, were coming towards you and you drew your sword, um, two guys came running out of the, sort of through a door and out of the basement past you and you kind of let them run Screaming, off. get the fuck out. Yeah, <laughs> get the fuck out. Uh, and the reason this was going on is because an armoured dwarf came stomping up the stairs. And uh, I believe Morgan and Torvald were in the basement uh, Torvald was out the, at, outside okay. watching. <coughs> Morgan was heading up, dealing with the. Yeah. I know, yeah. Mm. You were following me, weren't you? Well, I asked the guy if he was all right. Oh yes. Yeah, or yeah. if he wanted to wait, and he said, "I'll wait." Yeah, yeah. Like, right. I'm gonna follow him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he'd seen you guys like go in. Obviously, and you're gonna go and mess some shit up. So he probably wants to hang around and see what happens. <clears throat> okay, so. We will have initiative because we are entering <laughs> into a hand-to-hand -hand combat. They pull out weapons, so they had, uh, I think, three of them had rather big, big cuddly, big things. cuddly things with like nails bashed in them, that kind of thing. You know, this is just um, a roll of dice plus your bonus. D10 right? plus your initiative, initiative. which is. Possibly... I like the idea of doing roll a die and add your initiative bonus. Yeah, so plus like in three for fancy flight. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I quite like that idea. I didn't roll very well. I got a four in total. So did I. Clever girl. That's going to be the bottom. Uh, so Gail. Is intuition used for initiative? No, it's initiative, no. isn't it? Okay. Just intuition just is like... Initiative. Cool. Hey, is he lying to me? Or has oh, he got cool. a weird magic thing in his pocket? That <laughs> came out wrong, sorry. Yeah, what? <laughs> anyway. uh, hey, but I'm hiding a barrel outside, so okay, if you want to... That's fine. Dock. Yeah. Uh, the leader of their group is going to go on seven. Bagrick, what you got? Twelve. Twelve? Blimey. I've got initiative 48 and I rolled an eight. I can tell you how that is. Twelve. And Morgan? Four. Four? Oh, hey, we're we're rolling rolling four. One. I guess, well, like, it all kicks four. off and Morgan just like, rolls his eyes. <laughs> like, oh. yeah. Actually, <laughs> well, Bagrick, you're coming up, up the stairs. So... Yeah. So you will I be. I think I was just arriving as the. Yeah. Thing so you'll ended. be like joining like the second round of combat as it okay. were. Because <laughs> they turn around and go, oh dear. 
I'm probably confused at the moment. Why uh, the henchman just ran out screaming, get the fuck out of the Eight was, was, eight was cool of him, wasn't it? Yes. Seven was. Uh, no. They're about okay. to understand why. Cool, okay. So, <clears throat> they uh, the combat begins with uh, Sir Gale and the... Oh, no, with the, the their, their boss. Their big boss. Their the boss mouse. Guy. Their boss guy steps up, and he is going to... Uh, attack you. He has got uh, pulls out from his his uh, belt uh, a sword. Okay. So he's going to attack you. So go. I believe. Oh no, I didn't roll very well at all. Ooh, I got six success levels. I got minus three. So I got nine success levels. Ow. Yep. Yep. And that means I get your weapon's defensive. So he got plus one skill level. For his defensive Good weapon. shout. In a defense. And you do have oh. fortune points, so you can re roll if you want. Oh, do they refresh every turn? They do. Every refresh session. Every I mean, session. every session. Oh, we use a fortune point to re roll. Every turn. OP. Oh, that's better. Three success levels. Plus okay. one. So four. 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 So I got two. Plus my strength. Bonus plus. Uh, what's the sword? Plus four, four isn't it? So, uh, so you take ten points of damage. To the. To the twenty. To the twenty. <clears throat> which is the left arm <clears throat> just clips over your shield and hits you've got oh no you haven't got a shield have you no digs into your uh, chain mail Ching. hurting your hurting my arm did that hurt it did hurt it hurt five times oh Blimey. unless I add a toughness bonus you do add toughness bonus awkward <laughs> then it hurt two times <laughs> okay yep <clears throat> okay cool the next then next uh, well, Corvin, you're outside in a barrel. Do you want yeah. to try and roll to, out of the barrel to get rid of your broken <laughs> condition? Yes. What am I doing to get rid of broken? So you make a okay. cool, cool test. test. Cool. Yep. Brilliant. It's on the shades. Where's that? Forty-three. Cool. So yeah. that? ninety. So no, that's no. nine. Oh, that's nine. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Pass my cool test. Cool. So With you only had one. Three, How many broken six, conditions did you have? Uh, one. Just the one. Just the one. Just one. Yeah. Every success level you get removes one broken condition. Okay. So nine so to four, three, so that's four successes. Yes, yes. so you're five. five. So you five stand successes. up out of the barrel. Hooray! Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> yeah. 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 Swoosh my feather. Fish on you. And <laughs> try not to look embarrassed. Do you want to move back towards the tavern? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I will. meant to we'll, do that. We'll allow you to join in the next <laughs> round. Hop out of my barrel, put my robes out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's full of anchovies. <laughs> I <laughs> like anchovies. <laughs> just nice and I smell. <clears throat> smell. And I stride back to the bar. Okay, then next it is Sir Gale and the Ruffians. Now, uh, two of band. them are going to move in <gasps> to fight you. Okay, don't So okay. the first one to fight you will outnumber you two to one. Yep. And get a plus 20. And the third one to fight you will have outnumber you three to one and have a plus 40. Okie dokie. Okay. But they've got their crappy Do clubs. we attack at the same time, or...? No, so this is uh, the opposed roll, so you roll for your success levels. Um, but am I attacking You're him defending. Or... Okay. And then we'll do your roll. But it'll all happen at the same time, so there's a clash of clash weapons of steel. and steel and... Oh, Five success levels. Oh. Plus one, so six success levels. Oh, I rolled an 11. No, you don't get the plus one. That's only if you're defending. Oh, yeah, you are defending. Oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. yeah, six. I rolled an 11. I so rolled. I got three success levels. That's a critical. And a critical. critical. And you got ten. how many success levels? Oh. Rolled a ten, and I got six in total with defense. Okay, so, so you, you win does do a crit. by three. Yeah. So you get uh, oh, no, an advantage. Um, <clears throat> but I do a critical. What, what is a critical rolling a double? Critical, yeah. yeah. If you roll a, um, if my roll was successful. Was, double. Was, my oh. roll was successful. You see, so, so what does that still counts as a something critical. bad. So it's going to hurt you. All right, unfortunately. Uh, oh, hang on. Are you wearing full plate armour? I am. Ting. Is it odd-numbered? Ah! I think it's odd. I'll double. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'll double check. You've got your full plate armour has the impenetrable. Oh, impenetrable. Special. Yes. Uh. Which means that you ignore odd-numbered doubles. That so is cool. So 22 would have got through, but 11 doesn't. Ah! Ting, You sir. are lucky because I rolled an 88. Don't know what that does. That's a very high critical. Oh. An 88. All oh, right. sorry. But anyway... So ping, ladies and gentlemen, ping. Excellent. So, so next one. <laughs> okay, the next That's one. Can I keep defending? Yeah. Yeah, you are oh, always right. defending against these attacks. Um, I got, again, I got six. 
Nice. Okay. Uh, you won again, so you get advantage. Right, now it's your attack. But you, ah, ah, but you ah, don't count you as did. having the advantage because I'm out number three simul- to one. No, this is all simultaneous. Oh, right. Yeah. So I'll attack the guy who attacked me. They all attack you. Uh, the guy who hit the critical, the middle guy. Number okay. two. Okay, number two. Uh, but I unfortunately missed. And I see those. I will roll for him. Now, he's got minus three success levels. I got minus one. So you win by two. Cool. So one, uh, two, twelve points of damage. Twelve points of damage. And it's two. Do I reverse these? Yes. On the location? So it's the head. Oh, right. So you hit him on the head. Yes. <laughs> With a Clang. dirty great bastard sword. Yeah, twelve points of damage 12 to the head. head. Okay, so he takes nine wounds. Because he's In not wearing anything on his head. He's in the tavern, and... He's having a good old time. He's having a great and time. A great he's now got a massive... You swing your sword, right? You're like, boom, knock one guy out of the way. Boom, the other one bounces off your armour, and you're like, right, whack, <laughs> on the head. And there's like a big gash appears. Blood starts trickling down his face, and he, but he kind of... Almost like he's flicking his hair. Flicks it out of the way, and like... He's not having like, a good time. Comes at you. Excellent, eh? Right, so we're back round to the beginning of the ra- uh, Yes. Top oh, Morgan, you're next. moving up the stairs. Okay, so we go top of the round. Bagwick, you appear at the top of the stairs. There is a guy with a club standing, kind of staring at you, looking grumpy. <laughs> uh, he's kind of like... Oh, let's have a grump off. You can see that there is... And between you and him... Is there a moment of regret in his eyes? There is a moment of regret I've in his I've got a eyes. club. But I'll describe the room to you briefly. So, Sagal is near the front of the tavern. The three guys are standing around him, trying to batter him with clubs and swords. But he seems to be doing well. One of them's got claret on him. <laughs> There's like guys wrestling on the floor who are now just kind of watching. What's <laughs> well, going I did on. see things. <laughs> okay. I was just checking because you know. Yeah, but this is kind of you like walk in and you can't help but see this. Okay. Uh, and then he's this other guy standing near the bar, uh, which is kind of that that way for you, and he could get out through the kitchen if you just stood where you are. So yeah, there's a way for him to get out the back. What the guy that's facing the off? The guy that's answer? facing you with this club. All right. Like, so if I ignore him, he can just run out. Yeah. All right. So it's up to you. Just in case. What do you want to do? I think we all know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> you turn around and run away? <laughs> How did you know? No. <laughs> Kazoo! And just run at him and kind of jumping swing. Which okay. one? The one that's fake trying to stare me down. He's like, oh, fuck! And he, like, swings at you to try and... Twenty. <laughs> what does that oh, mean? God. <laughs> Mm. Did he fail, Pete? He failed. Five success level. Yeah, no, he no. failed. Yes, five success level. He levels. failed by four. Ouch. Yeah. Do oh, you, you don't have to roll. No. Uh, so how much did you fail by? Five. Four. four. So nine. So nine plus four, thirteen. Uh, Eighteen plus those two, twenty. 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 I've got two levels down. of strike, mighty blow and um, strength. And where five. did you hit him? Uh, in the head. Yeah. Okay. I rolled a 20, so two. Yeah. Okay. So you go, Kazoo, can you charge across the thing? Your feet like thudding on the wooden planks on the floor. And you clear the distance quite quickly and you leap, bring your axe down on his skull, and his hand goes limp. And the, his club kind of cl- dun, 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 clatters on the floor. And his eyes just go wide and blood trickles down his face. And you, as you kind of land, his body kind of crumples like knees waist and like you put your foot on his chest and pull the, pull the axe out and this guy is dead he did he did well he's got no armor on his head he did 20 points of damage he's got a toughness bonus of four he's got 14 wounds boom poor oh. life choices yep it's one more wound full me. plate kids yeah. speaking clever <clears throat> one of the uh, one of the, the guys who's beating up on you like looks over his shoulder like <laughs> did I just hear that yeah. <laughs> like huh oh. there's a new thing for okay. you to hear Corvin you open the door oh uh, maybe yeah. I don't know why I uh, imagine so there's, there's a glowing light that bounces off your cloaks yeah. Yeah, blinding me and I get stabbed no, no, you're back you're back <laughs> and smelling a fish oh, right. oh blinding but, me <laughs> but um, you see Sir Gale bravely fighting these uh, ruffians uh, and um, this one of them looks like he's wearing a little bit of armour and he's got a sword um, but 
one guy's already got blood on his face, and you see behind them, Bagrick pulling the axe from the guy's <laughs> face as he falls on the floor, and blood just like pulls around him. Okay. Uh, Call the police. <laughs> <laughs> I blow my whistle. <laughs> yeah. Assistance needed. <laughs> uh, Corvin, uh, I, I want some magic. Okay. So it's been really successful. So demon, so demon, successful. demon, 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 demon. <laughs> so the guy that's fighting Gale, the, Which guy? not there's, the bloody there's, one. There's oh, the three, three of them. So there's the boss, yep. the two ruffians. Guy? One of them has got blood on his face. Okay, the, the, the boss. Okay. And I want to cast Drop. Okay. And I'm going to cast it on his hand to try and make him drop his sword. Okay, cool. Stop, drop, and so run. how do we do that? So it's, it's got a casting number of one. So oh, I do so my magic cast. language test. So <laughs> hopefully, I mean, I failed the cantrip last week. Roll an 88 or a 99. Then. So willpower, <laughs> yards, range, instance. Not that I want. And it'll be a dexterity oh, we can't uh, hold it. opposition. Oh, oh sorry. That's true. Yeah. Is it a good start? Yes. 36... Against and your language 65. Magic. Okay, three success levels. Cool. Uh, Boom. So you get to make a dexterity check. A challenging plus zero dexterity test. But okay. uh, for every two success levels, I impose a minus 10 on the test. So okay. minus 10. So minus 10. Believe. That's a fail. 67 is going to fail. He's not that dexterous. He's not a dwarf. So he droops. So he... Yeah, that your guys are fighting. Tool, tool, tool. Um, he also may be blinded, but is that That's a, not no? a law spell? Not a law spell. Okay, right. And um, you have to sing. What do, <coughs> what's the effect? What does your magic look like when you do it? Oh, okay. So uh, yeah, this one emanates from my stuff. Can yep. can you show them my new model that Sam made for me? It's not finished. It's not finished. Work in progress. Can't Put see it it. over you, your face. Yeah, you can't really yeah, see it. Yeah, it. it won't really focus on it, unfortunately. But yeah. We'll put but yeah. photos. As we know from we'll Discworld, yeah. a wizard staff has a knob on the end, so that starts glowing in a white light. Yep. As I resonate my singing voice, like, oh! Cool. And, uh, I'll I'll see, I'm seeing Jack Black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tribute. Yeah. Okay. And, the, and as you do that, <laughs> light shines upon his blade. In the middle of the road. And you can see this. The light is shining now on the blade this guy's holding. And it kind of resonates in his hand, almost as if it's humming. And he's like, looks down, and he's like, whoa, and he drops it, and it clatters to the floor with a weird, pleasing ring uh, of steel. <laughs> like a tuning fork. Like a tuning fork. Yeah. I'm upset, but that sounds so good. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, whoa, standing in front of you with no weapons in his hands. Well done, Corvin. Uh, and it's now his go. Uh, so he's like, um, bollocks. <laughs> he's going to try and punch you. Yeah. What a hero. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's got a penalty, but you are three to one outnumbered. Oh, fucking nailed it. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, everyone. <laughs> well, he does. Oh, he 95. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, he yeah. you and has advantage, but no. So I get another advantage. Yes. Excellent. Yes. These give me so plus he, 10 each. He right? loses his yeah. advantage, doesn't he? Yeah, uh, and that's not that's not. Oh no, hang on, wait, wait, wait. Let me calculate this properly. He's got plus forty, plus fifty with his advantage. Plus fifty, but he's isn't there a penalty for unarmed? No, isn't it just damage? It is just damage, isn't it? So he's got plus fifty. So actually, I got two success levels. So I got more than that. I got four from rolling, five, six, and seven from defensive. Okay. You do win, and he loses his advantage. You do. <coughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> Incompetent. He's trying to punch me. <laughs> yeah. Um, what a hero. Next, we have everybody else going. So, Morgan, you arrive at the top of the stairs. Yep. In time to see a familiar sight Hi, of Bagrick pulling his axe from someone's face. Uh, Hi. <laughs> yeah. Someone needs to record all the, my work is never all done. the body locations. I've got to keep so you busy. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, we've had head and head. Oh, and oh no, <laughs> so the only ones you guys inflict. Yeah. Yeah. I got a hit in the arm. It was a, it's a head headshot yeah. day. Two headshots. Yeah. Are you making an edit of these? Yeah, I can do. Cool. Cool. Cool beans. Okay, so, so Gail, Ruffians, and Morgan. Jeez. What's going down? Uh, well, I'll defend first. Okay, I'm these two guys attacking you. Ooh, one success no. level. No. Uh, you're still three to one, aren't you? Yeah. Five success levels. So I get minus three, plus three, plus one, so they win by four. Okay. So you lose your advantage and they gain it. 
to I use all of it? Yeah. All of it. Yeah. Because you get hurt. Uh, so you take. So you lost. They win by four, you said? Yes. Okay, four, four. So that's 12 points of damage. Oh no, they were using a club. So what it's a club um, 10 points of damage. To the. To the 53. Cheers. Uh, the body. There you go. So I take two points of damage. Okie doke. I am now on that. Cool. Yeah. Next one. Right, next one. He's going to hit you as well. I'll try. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Um, I keep rolling 90s. Um, this is twice in a row. Um, 65 plus 40. That means that's two success levels. Minus two. Okay, so that's four, four again. again. So yeah. another... So another two. ten, yeah. So another two points of damage. So they now have advantage, both of them. My attack. Uh, yes. If this is ninety. I'm Who are you attacking? Uh, the same one I cut before. Okay. Ah, oh, that's better. He has advantage. Ooh, no. Oh, does yeah. he? If it's all at the same time. Oh no, you're right. Yes. So you actually Sorry. have three advantage for that hit. Oh, you did. So you take zero damage. Okay. No, one damage. You always take yeah, one you damage. Yeah, always take one. Because they would have beaten you by one. Uh, good shout, Roger. Uh, so I've actually got an extra three on this. Yes. Thing. Yeah. So I got three, six success levels. And I got six success levels. Ooh, exciting. So it's a draw in which a defender wins. So you get advantage. No, he does. Oh, no, he does. Te- no, I get advantage. Yeah. Yes, sorry. I'm the defender. I'm the defender. Look at that. Wow. Amazing. My, ca- my guys have got advantage. Uh, no, if you've not seen season two, I was famous for Femir who just fumbled in the dark and fell onto people's swords. Uh, anyway. Okay, cool. That's Morgan. So sorry for this, Femir. Is there anyone in range? Yeah. Is there anyone in... You can move across the room and attack one of the people that is fighting Sir Gale. Uh, <coughs> yeah, closest target, I guess. Make a... Uh, Perception roll quickly. Mm, maybe. Now you got your character sheet. What? What do you mean? <laughs> uh, yes, pass. Okay, you can hear actually through the kitchen. Mm. Um, some some commotion. Movement. Yeah. What kind of a commotion? It sounds like someone quickly opening and shutting things. Alright, I might head over there then. Okay. You go th- you go through the... There's a doorway. Mm-hmm. So if, I assume you're going to carefully open it. As you do, you can see at the far end of the kitchen, um, going through like low cabinets, uh, there is a, uh, a figure wearing um, kind of dark clothing with a dark cape. Not going to judge. And like a... <laughs> what looks like some sort of hood that goes... Pretty much over most of their face, but very tight, almost okay. like a balaclava type thing. Yeah. Um, and uh, pulling, pulling things out of a, a cupboard, mm-hmm. um, and then you see them kind of grab a few bits together. Mm-hmm. And um, is this the only door? Is there another door? There's a door beyond. Right. It goes through to the storeroom that you guys saw from the back last time. Okay. So there is a way out this way. There's also a stairway down into the cellar that you were in earlier on from that storeroom and the room you're in. Oh, okay. Yep, so there's two. Yep. And they are probably not raiding the fridge. They're not raiding the fridge. There seems to be... Ca- when they pull the last thing out, it seems to, like, make the sound of lots Jingle. of coins in a bag hitting yep. the floor. Mm-hmm. And then they shut... Because they've had to pull things out of the way. Yeah. They clearly know where the these stash is. are. Yeah. yeah. So this isn't someone who's necessarily luckily burglaring them <laughs> as you guys are doing this. They're clearing out while they're Maybe. going on upstairs. Maybe. Uh, in the event that an initiative is drawn, it's whoever's got highest agility goes first. Oh, really? That's I cool. thought it would be something along those oh, okay. lines. Fine. I just had a, it's actually that's agility, cool. not initiative. But... Okay. Fair play. Fair I just thought, because that gets really complicated with advantage and stuff. Yeah. What do you want to do, Sam? Morgan? Um... Just get to the right page. Mm. Um, I don't know. If they're clearing them out, that's not necessarily a bad thing. 
but they're probably from here because they know where everything is. So Punch them. I might go and intervene. With your Can fists. I get closer without them? Like, are they concentrating on what You'll they're doing? You need to make a, a, a roll. Yeah, okay. And there will be an opposed roll. Stealth? Uh, yes, stealth. Well, you know, I am, I am so sneaky. I know you are. And I know that's your chief skill. <laughs> You're actually sneaky. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, bells. Torvald's Tor 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 sneakier than it's I am. It's the yeah. new rock she wears. Nope. Right, well, my perception roll was catastrophically bad. Oh, okay. Well, I only failed by one degree. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, I failed by three. So... That you get into the room. You're not quite. You can't like yeah, yeah. get into combat with them because mm -hmm. you've had to come around, open a door, go mm -hmm. in, wait for a second. Yep. There's all kind of six seconds. You can see this going on, yep. da, 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 and then you kind of step into the room. Mm -hmm. This person is starting to stand up with like bags of loot, mm -hmm. bag of loot in mm -hmm. their hands, uh, and uh, turns around and and, and sees you. Uh, and let me just roll their, their initiative to add to this. Ooh, hello. Okay. Yeah, I did burglar. Uh, are we instantly regret not just chopping them? Chopping who? Oh, the bad guys. Yeah. They're making off with all their stuff that they nicked. Well, I'm sure Morgan will stop them. I believe. Um, he looks slightly surprised. You can tell it's a man. Uh, from the moustache that's poking out from the hood. Mm -hmm. Um, and um. He, uh, he's got a curl to it. Oh, he's an imperial then. Uh, and um, he kind of looks startled. And he goes, why, hello there. And Gen we'll go Kenobi. on to, uh, it's actually uh, then Bagrick and him. Okay. Um, Bagrick. Hit My names. agility is 35. His agility is higher than yours. So he goes first. He, goes first. <laughs> he, he stands there and he says, ah. I see that um, someone is finally um, dealing with these f uh, foul ruffians looking after this establishment. Um, I think it's a wise idea, and I think that perhaps, and he pulls like a small, mm -hmm. the smallest bag that he's got in his hands, he puts it on the table, he says, perhaps um, we could go our separate ways and <laughs> no one needs to know that I have been here so in this disgusting uh, establishment. Yes, he's, and he's like, like bovine. Manure. As he's talking, mm. you know, he pops it on the table and he's like sidling, sidling, sidling round. Break his because there's a in the kitchen. There's a big central table. It's like thick oak thing. So does he? Does he look like he's one of these guys? Under his hood, and it's not quite a balaclava, but it's a tight hood. Yeah, you can see he's got a well maintain moustache uh -huh. and as he stands up in the light of the kind of candles and stuff in the room you can see his clothes are um outdoor adventurous type mm. or urban outdoor adventurous mm -hmm. type um but fine quality mm -hmm. and these guys are like drinking rat piss ale so he looks he looks out of sorts but you know that this is like a ranald and also he knows where everything is he knows where everything suspicious. is suspicious yes so maybe he's the balls. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But I think that perhaps we could go our separate ways with no further bloodshed. I mean, obviously, deal with the bloodshed in there. Uh, but I'll, I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll see myself out. I know where the door is. I mean, I think it's down here. Anyway, back Rick, your turn. <laughs> That's his go. He's like. He's being very careful and he's being very... He's not making any sudden movements. Mm -hmm. That's why he's so slowly moving around the room. Okay, right. So, Bagrick, what are you up to? Um, I'm going to continue my forward momentum. Three more. <laughs> oh, hang on. So, well, I thought... Don't, they, don't they worry. Were, don't, we're joking. We're joking. <laughs> we are joking. Yeah, you, uh, basically, right. you come in. You, oh, you know, yeah! They're slightly off that direction. So, there was a guy standing sort of here... And they were they were off in that direction. But it's fine. You kind of walk, and pull the blade out, and you're standing there, and you can see Sir Gale, like fighting you, that, three you people walk, at you once. You see them like hit him, and he's. I'm fighting you know. three people at once. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of barrel into the nearest one. Are you gonna try and take one out? That means you wouldn't. If you like steamroll him, you won't. I'm gonna Sir go Gale into over. the. No, I'm gonna go into. Yeah. 
I'm, not plan- one of them. I'm hoping my momentum will carry me from one into the other rather than into him. Well, I'm there and they're there. Pick one. And I'm where? All right. Um, which they're, one's the boss? Saying, I should have. That's the, the boss. That's the boss. That's, that's the boss. Yeah. I'm gonna go suck. You've, you've hit that one. That's the boss. I'm gonna go suck a punch the boss in the back of the head. Okay. Cool. With right. Blade in my hat. <laughs> okay. Go for it. I'm going to strike to stun. That escalated. Ooh, it's a good strike. Yeah. 38. Oh, yeah, here we go. He, oh, um, they probably thought again that. Is he aware of your attack? Probably. I did just scream Kazook. Yeah. Although he might be distracted because he dropped the sword. Yeah, I don't he did. Know. I'm going to make a roll. I'm going to make a perception roll. See it's going to be easy. Paying attention. You know. Why did he gain that there? I charged. Oh, do you get he's, momentum when you charge? He's aware of you. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. cool. That's yeah, cool. when you charge, you get one. I forgot. Oh, I forgot one true. before as well. Yeah. Why did you get that? He is aware of you because you won the first guy yeah. killed a guy charged. Ah, yeah. Bloody so, hell, they rack up quickly. Yeah, they don't do. They? they do. That's why we. Put That's why I'm using it. momentum. So like he's aware weapon. of you. He turns around, and fortunately, he's not holding any weapon. So he's just like kind of like. Uh, <laughs> uh, so he, can, he can still dodge though. Can't he? he can still dodge. So he's going to try and dodge you. He's just not. No, to I'm stuck punching. Well, I'm actually using the blade of my axe to like smack him around the head. Um, so okay, so I... Like the flat I, yeah, or just... Yeah. Okay. What did you get? 38. Seven. Oh, Seven. I actually Did it? passed by two success levels. So Seven. I passed by five. Uh, well, oh. I passed by seven, but... Mm-hmm. So I get plus five, but I'm using strike to stun. Ooh. Oh, what What's happens that with that, Roger? I just so happen to have it ready on this... Oh, oh maybe not. Oh. <laughs> Rookie era. They're before combat. The talents are just after all the careers. Oh, is it a talent? Oh, it's careers, good. skills, talents. It is. So strike to stun. You know it here. An opponent to bring him down fast. You ignore the cool shot penalty to strike the head location using a melee weapon with a pummel quality, but I'm using an improvised weapon because I'm not using my axis intended. Um, and are all so improvised two, weapons two, two, eight. Eight. Can you punch him in the face? So it basically allows you to hit someone in the head. Yes, but as an Im- with an improvised weapon, not with like the force of my axe. Sure. Because I'm trying to. It's just slightly die. less damage. Presumably, you need strike to stun to do that. Yes. Okay. Uh, so it's an opposed <laughs> strength and endurance test against a struck opponent. Strength and endurance. Yeah, so his strength My endurance. strength versus yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And endurance is based on toughness. And you get 70. Uh, 9. 79. No, 9. Oh, 9. Boom. So that's 4. Oh, got... No, 5, because it's an 09. I got 4 success levels. I got 5, so he's stunned. <coughs> he is stunned. So he gains a stunned condition. Yes, you have been disoriented or confused. You're incapable of taking an action on your turn and can only use your move to stagger half your normal movement. You have some penalties, blah, blah, blah. Melee, uh, any opponent trying to strike you in melee gains plus one advantage before rolling the attack. <coughs> well done, Bagwick. So you run over and... Just like, what, you like smack him with the back sp- of the... Spin it and like whack him. Well, I'm using a flat of the blade. And I'm okay. literally just belting him around the head with it. Boink. <laughs> it makes that noise as his head is struck. Don't boink! Uh, and uh, he turns around and he's like, ah, oh, tries to dodge it out of the way. And you just clock him around the face and he's just like, oh, and like, then afterwards completely... he gets like minus, minuses as well. Minus 10. Uh, per stunned condition. So you only did one, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it's at minus 10 at the moment. That's cool. Minus 10. Cool beans. He's in trouble. He hasn't got a sword and he's stunned. Right. Next, Corvin. Okay, you no see Bagrix. Two to one. Combat exactly. feet. Can you stun him out? Uh, I'm going to stride over to one of the other ruffians. Everyone's close to me, probably not the struck one. It's yeah. the one on the other side of The me. one on the other side. <coughs> and uh, I will now show off my wizarding polearm skills that I was taught in the college. Oh. <laughs> because I was obviously given combat training as well. <coughs> not Excuse quite my class. coughing, sorry. So I'm going to stride over. You're going to Gandalf on him. Bang with a pass out. <laughs> Just I like a massive swing round and up into the groin. <laughs> so remember, you gain an advantage for charging. Really? Yes, you do. Wow. So does that get spent? That's just I have advantage. You have yep. advantage. So you're okay. plus 10. Plus so 10 Okay, uh, skill level's 46. So. Right. 28. So I got. Uh, <laughs> 95. I got two successes then. Um, 
He's they're still outnumbering you. Oh no, they're not, no, anymore. Not, anymore. No, they're not anymore. Did, okay, I, did I get yeah, two successes? So yeah. ninety-five is minus five success levels. You did have advantage as well. Yeah. So how many success levels did you get? Two. With your advantage? Just help me count that one. So my skills forty-six. I got twenty-eight, which so was two, one success two, plus two, one for the advantage. So that's two successes. Two, okay. So you don't just count the first, first number. Just the first number. Okay, then so three successes. I got minus five. So you got eight successes. Wow. So, so, so damage. Strength bonus, weapon bonus, eight. Right, strength bonus is two. Okay. Uh, wait, that so should be ten. ten. Four. That's quite still quite don't, good. Don't laugh at that. So that's ten plus your that's weapon bonus. That's my strength bonus. bonus in real life, so I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to laugh yeah, at so that. So I got my damage is strength bonus plus four. So would I, that's something yeah, I would have Yeah, so if your strength make. bonus is two, yep. plus four, that's six. Yep. So that's 14. what your weapon does as basic. Right. And then you got eight added on from my. I basically like fell over backwards, and you just knocked me in the. So that's fourteen. Then. Fourteen points of damage. Right to the. He rolled twenty-eight, so, so eighty-two. It's going to be a leg. Oh, one of his legs. Uh, left leg. Okay. So that is the nut sack. The left nut sack. No, the no. sixty-nine's the nut sack. No. What happens is you walk over <laughs> and you you kneecap him with your staff. Basically, you're like whoop, into his knee, and his leg looks like it bends the wrong way oh, momentarily God. and he screams in pain ah! Ah! and he's like fucking hell he's lost his advantage um and you gain them yes yeah uh, and he screams in pain uh, and instantly his knee seems to like swell up uh, as if you've done some serious damage to his body ligaments um watch That's out wizard. for that wizard right the boss guy is going to stumble about Bump into Gale. Uh, <laughs> and uh, at the end of each round, you may attempt a dramatic endurance test. Uh, if successful, remove the stun condition. Right. And gain fatigue. Yeah, yeah, which is horrible. Because you're at minus 10. <laughs> yeah, he's but, already at minus 10. Remember, least... he's at minus 10. He is at my, you're right. Minus 10 to all tests for being stunned. But if he just becomes fatigued, he can then act. Yeah, oh, but right. he's still at minus 10. At the moment, he's just stumbling about. And he's going to carry on stumbling about. Uh, right, so, uh, Sir Gale, the Ruffians and Morgan, who's got the highest agility? Mine is 35. Uh, 38. Uh, it's you then, Morgan. You misjudge me. <laughs> and... He's got an armful of staff. Uh, punch him. He does look like he's got sort of weapons uh, on his body. You think there might be a crossbow on his back and there's like daggers and stuff. <clears throat> you can see a kind of winning smile under his... I'm imagining his Errol mustache. Flynn. He's a very Errol Flynn type character. Punch yes, him. Absolutely. It's just looks like he's lithe enough he could probably leap onto the table. From standing start. Yeah, I'm gonna try and probably either hit him or grab him. Okay, you wanna try and grapple him? Because he's obviously a talkative <clears throat> chap. Maybe he can give us a bit more information. <clears throat> Plus, you know, I don't need to kill people. That's not my job. <laughs> yeah. No, there's plenty of people who can do that. You just need to hold him long enough yeah, backwards to turn up. Yeah, I'm trying to knock someone out. So, uh, so yeah, I'll try and... After you brutally murder the guy in the He was face. in the way. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the way, so I killed him. <laughs> Didn't let him run away. Oh, okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to try and grapple him. Uh, which is going to be less complicated. Punch <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. Okay. He's going to try and dodge you. Yeah, of course he is. So he's pretty good And at he's going to miss. It's, it's fine. Yeah. Karate. I know, I know. It's fine. Come on, Morgan. Let's go. We believe in you, Morgan. Believe in you. You shouldn't. <laughs> 94. Oh, well, that's a bad miss. Well, I got four success levels. Yeah. I was going to say you've got fortune points, but that's pretty pointless. <laughs> no, I believe. Yeah, so I go to either grab him or hit so him, and go, he just kind of goes, nope. He like <laughs> dodges out of the way, spins, uh, and then and just sort of prances exits. away. Well, he's still in combat with you now. Yeah, you, you're now engaged with him. Okay. Uh, so he will try and. He looks like he's probably going to try and run away. Mm -hmm. Um. And uh, we shall see shortly. All right, the ruffians. Um, there are two. Uh, one of them turned around like, "There's a fucking wizard!" <laughs> <laughs> like, um, You're a wizard for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to attack you. <gasps> oh, 
22. Oh, that's, oh, cool. that's, that's a crit. That's a critical. Okay. Hit me with that, though. I get, I get to oppose no, it. No, that right? would hurt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It should, oh, okay. it should do. So I got a 10, ten. and plus one for my Well, you're going to win, but he's... he's still yes, you've won. Oh, yeah, so my melee poem was... I got two success levels. Two six, so I got oh, yeah, you, four. You, you've yeah. won, but he gets his crit. Yeah. yeah. So okay. you win, so you get advantage. Uh, but I do a critical to you, so you probably lose an advantage for that. Uh, no, you, uh, no, I don't know. Because you take damage. Well, we don't know yet. Let's see what happens. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Here we go. Uh, so I have to roll location first. Here, Here we, we go. go. Uh, 73. Body, probably. That's body. Body. Oh, oh, here we go. I don't have a lot of armour. Leon dies in the second episode. <laughs> oh, maybe. Heart attack. No, don't wait. 17. 17 wounds? No. <laughs> well, so that, that will kill me. That's one critical. No, one seven on the critical. What's one seven on the critical? You're not looking at critical. I'm not looking at the critical. Oh, 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 you're looking at criticals. No, yeah. I was looking at <laughs> loss of advantage. Other things. Gotta... That's right, yeah. Yeah, because you're going because you're going to take damage, you lose all advantage. advantage. Oh, okay. Here we go. Right, here we go. Here we go. Critical oh, wounds. Advantage. Number uh, seventeen. Number seventeen. You summon a greater deal. <clears throat> Gut blow. Oh, that makes sense. <clears throat> take one wound. Okay. So the next blow. Gain one stunned condition. Oh. oh okay. Stunned. Pass an easy plus forty. I mean, why even make them roll? Uh, endurance test or vomit. Gaining the prone condition. So basically, you double over and puke. If, what's your endure? It may just be for you. Where is my tough. endurance? It's based on toughness. Is it? Well, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, so, so, yeah, so toughness. I've got nothing to say, just toughness. Okay, so 39. Plus 40 to that. Oh! So critical like failure. 88. Yeah. So you could use a fortune point to re roll that if you want. Because you get it prone in front of him. Bagrick's going to defend me. I'll, I'll throw up and land on the floor. Okay, you throw up. <laughs> okay. He's... <laughs> comes into your gut. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you puke on him. Yeah. Uh, which annoys him even more. <laughs> and uh, But you double over on the floor, like your staff rolling away. Slowly. So stunned and prone. Stunned and prone. Right. Good old Corvin. <laughs> right. Um, next, it's the boss again. Oh no, it's Brave Sigale. Oh no, Ruff Ruffian, sorry. The Ruffians are gone. The other, uh, no, the other Ruffian doesn't attack to you. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, sorry. I, for, for some reason I thought it was your turn we did that, but here we go. Well, that's a, that's a good hit. That's a zero Ooh. nine. So that's, that's four success levels. Uh, I got just plus one because of defensive. However, that is a critical defend. Is that, is that 66? Yeah, if you pass, that's a critical. It's a pass? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, it's not a pass, it's only a pass because of defensive. What? Oh, no. So oh, well, defensive you might gives wanna... you a success level on your result. You might want a fortune. That's a that's critical oops. failure. That's an oops oh, table. I, I, will, I will roll <laughs> my fortune point. Uh, that's better. So I got three success levels. And I got four. So I beat you by one. Indeed. So I think I do you one point of damage. Because... Yeah, you always take at least one from a successful hit. Which I like that rule. Cool. That makes sense. That means I can kill Bagrick. <laughs> Bagrick and I know it's now Horde it's me. of small rats. Me? Large rats. Yes, you. Stay down, Mr. Apple Monsieur Applebaum. <laughs> and I'll hit that one. Oh, he's minus three success levels. I didn't roll much better to be honest. Uh, minus one. So I still win. Yes, by two. Uh, by two, so I do 13 points of damage to the 47, which is the body. I mean, 13 points of damage yeah, to, to the... the one you got the f bit, you did a little bit of damage to. No, no, this is a fresh one. Who hasn't? Oh, no, he hits him in the leg. Yeah, you hit. Oh, that one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. right. Where did you hit him? In the body. In the body. Yeah. Okay, you turn around and you just run your sword through his stomach. <laughs> Uh, so he, you get, there you go. I'm doing my job. Down and get showered I knew you guys had my back. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, luckily, all the gore flies out his back. Yeah. Uh, so it doesn't go anywhere near your armour. Um, right. And I gain advantage. You do. Right. Back round to the beginning. Bagrick and. Uh, See, now I'm in the way of the other one in you. I, so. I'm gonna. Oh, um, you're you're not first, are you? So the other guy is like, oh my friend. There's no need for uh, violence. Trust me. Uh, it's better if I leave this establishment. Um, if I were to disappear this evening, then 
you would be in far more trouble, I believe. Uh, and not for my part. Please don't see that as a threat. Um, there are those who uh, hmm, find my charms less roguish and appealing than others. Anyway, I suggest I leave and you stay. That bag over there, that's for you. And he's going to, like, disengage Scarper. and um, run for the back door. Um, cool. Disengage is an action, isn't it? So you don't provoke. Yeah, basically, or, but he doesn't run. He literally just backs out of combat. Oh, yeah, he moves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he's not far away. He so just, he's like a short move away. He does that. He's in He's, he's in the back storeroom, but not yep. far. <clears throat> okay, back, Rick. I'm going to... Try and knock this guy out again. I'm going to lamp him again in the head. The leader guy. Lampoon yeah. him. See, you didn't actually do damage to him, did you? No, I'm just trying to knock him out. So that, knock that him did out. no damage, that last attack that you did to him? Um, I think I can pull my blow to not do damage, and that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to knock him out. Okay, cool. So Because he hasn't taken any damage yet. So, he is stunned, though. Yeah, he's, he's stunned. He is stunned. I'm literally yeah. just trying to knock him out. Cool. Go for it. Believe in yourself. Ooh, wait till one. Mm, I'll see if I need to re-roll that. That's oh, yeah, here we go. currently three success levels. He's on a minus I've 10. used two fortune points, haven't I? Where do you record fortune? I'm going to use another dice. Well. And he gets minus 10 as minus well. Minus 10. I have one left. So that is minus four. Cool, so it connects. So Okay, so we did oh, it. But he gets minus 10. Yep. Thank you, Raj. Oh, no. Failed. Uh, so, 30, so, well, I passed by two success levels. Okay, so it's minus 20. So, yeah. Does that do two stun conditions, or just one stun? Excellent question. <laughs> Excellent <Right>. question. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bad. I'm a dad. I'm allowed to do crap jokes. There you go. Yes, I am. And the rules. Uh, Sorry, multiple pages in the book. That's okay. While you're doing that, let's go to Corvin. How you doing, Corvin? I'm stunned and prone. Right, you can make a endurance test to see if you get rid of your stunned condition. Right. And you're prone, which means I just yeah, spend a just have to stand, stand up. up. Yeah. Okay, let's not be stunned anymore. Uh, sixty-three. I'm stunned. You're stunned. Yeah. But you it's comfy down there. It but is. you can. The one thing you can do in your turn is move. So you could still get up. Crawl even while stunned. <laughs> even while stunned, you can move. You can stagger. And stagger at half. Crawl away. Move. Okay, I'm going to stagger away. <laughs> okay, you start uh, like Towards up. the bar, because I can climb up that. The bar is the okay. opposite. It's that way, though. You'll have to crawl through combat. <laughs> I won't crawl That's through fine. combat. Yeah. You can crawl through okay, combat. Okay. That's fine. Just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> People are dying. I can't the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Dry heaving. Uh, I'm so brave. <laughs> okay, right, it's the boss's go, and he's going to try and recover. From he's at minus 20 to everything. Th yep. Oh, yeah, it's just not going very well for him. <laughs> he's just, like, bumps into, the, like, a table uh, and nearly falls over it. He's just staggering around. He's taking a lot of trauma to the f head. And, right. and his wife left him today. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's having a really yeah, bad day. Yeah, it's a really bad day. Uh, Morgan. Yep. What are you up to? He's he's pretty much out of here anyway, really, isn't he? I'm like in my head, I'm like, oh, this is fine because what I'll do is I'll just throw my sword and bar the door, like I've seen that. And it's just like that. If I do that, I'm just gonna drop it. Cause... Like Torvald straight out there. Is he though? Isn't he out the other side of the building? Yeah, because you've the... gone round oh, to okay. a side. He's on the side other. Side. He's like near the yeah. near the yeah. kind of patio yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. bit where all the people were having their dinner. Yeah, the sword throw thing sounds cool. It does, but it's never going to work. Charge do it. it. Just rugby tack. Hey, use the black colour dice. Use a, Believe in them. Use of resilience. Black probably. dice, you reckon? To get a yeah. critical success. Now's the time for them to stand rugby up. Rugby tackle. Believe in the heart okay. of the dice. Well, why not? <laughs> the heart of the dice. <laughs> it's meant to be heart of the cards from Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, oh, no, so are they the ones that regen? It's the only thing I know about you. What? No. No. no, to auto pass, you burn one. You won't yeah. need it. Just pass. Okay, fine. Leon, Leon has faith. Just rugby tackle him. Come on, come on. So, so you're going to throw your sword nah. to like go into the door jam, like between the door and the jam. Just like take a hell of a throw. Oh, yeah. Inigo oh, yeah. Montoya. 
That yeah. would be that would be like a critical. All he's all he's gonna do though is just be like, eh, and just and then That'd still be cool, just though. stand in the way. No, you're trying to pull it and it's locked, and then they'll turn around <laughs> and go, but now you have no weapon. And then you'll say, I have faith. <laughs> My name is Morgan of Moore. <laughs> I've killed many fathers. <laughs> no, buried. <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna rugby tackle him. Okay. Because okay, he's trying to get. I, you sure. get, you get I have additional questions. Damn it! <laughs> you could always uh, try and ask him a question. Shout! I have additional questions. Seems to be one of those hot at his head. Cocksure, self-confident, you gain advantage. Roguish characters who might be. Find it entertaining to have a conversation with you rather than. <laughs> anyway, you got to rugby tackle him while shouting. I have additional questions. <laughs> no, we're just gonna go for it. I can imagine Morgan's fine. paid by Keanu Reeves. Go for what? <laughs> yeah. 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 Rugby tackle. Rugby tackle. Yeah. Or sword throw. No, I'm just gonna try and yeah grab him. It's not going well. Okay. Fortune. Well, I rolled one hundred. <laughs> oh, fuck. <but. Bounce. laughs> <coughs> Which is, is a critical that oops fail. table? Can you critically fail a grapple? I think a hundred is tackle? always think, terrible, um, isn't it? He's prone, so you you. So I do just pound. You pound. <laughs> pin him. He's like, see you later, and he turns, and you're like, whoa! <laughs> he was not expecting that. And he falls that. on the money. That's fine. So he's like, that means he doesn't go all his wind's gone out of him, and he's like lying on top of this thing. He's, that wasn't very good form. That was the money shot. Um. Oh. So you're on top of him. So he's, okay. so he's pinned, so he's, he's not running anywhere. Yes, he's pinned, so he's not running away. Um, Corvin, you're crawling. Oh, it's me again? You've, yes. I came right quick. You've got to the... You've, it's, no, yeah. it's Morgan's go. Sorry, I keep doing that. I keep flipping it onto the... Corvin and Morgan. It's Morgan, then it's Gale. Sir Gale. Well, no, it's Ruffins first, then Sir Gale. Is it? You've got higher agility. Oh, my agility is 35. What's yes. that? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I will now stab the man in front of me. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <clears throat> Excellent. Excellent. Uh, so, <laughs> three success levels. Um, I got... Are you, are you... No, you're equal numbers, aren't you? Yeah. One success level. So, I win by two. Yes. I do you 13 points of damage to wow. the 74. Body. The body. You put a good cut in his chest, and blood like moistens his jerkin, and he's like, ah. "This is the one I cut in the face earlier." Yeah, yeah. But, you know, he's still alive. He is still Not alive. Long. Uh, I'm just trying to do some basic maths in my head. <laughs> minus that is that. Yeah. Which minus from that is that. Aha. Uh -huh. Numbers. You wouldn't think I run an analytical team in real life. Anyway. You need to have like a video ref, someone else somewhere who just does all the yeah. calcs for you. He just feeds it into your ear. Yeah. Oh, yes. Can we go to VR for that, please? <clears throat> now, you want someone watching our roles and going, oh, my God, that was a really bad role by John. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Definitely American. That's <laughs> what you need a blood bowl, <laughs> Yeah. It's like the the, the the poker thing where they're watching. They can see the cards under the oh, glass yeah. table. They can see the cards. And That's like what we need. There's little mini cameras. Yeah, so yeah. We can look at character cool. sheets. Oh my and god! Like that. That'd be nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can see what you're doing and what. And what the back of the character sheet. Right yeah, exactly. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Okay, right. He's severely wounded. That's very cool. I have another advantage taken. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. And now it's his go to swat at you ineffectually. Well, come at me, bro. Or. or who knows? Oh, well, that's successful. That's two successes. Oh, I failed as well. I got an <clears throat> 82, so I s the minus one for me. And I got two successes, so that's three. So you lose that. So you take six, nine points of damage. To the? To the 62. <clears throat> so, body. So I only take one point of damage. Yep. This is getting little dinks. I'm getting dinks. dink down slowly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, right. We're back round to the beginning. Uh, and this uh, person you're on top of um, says, that was really not uh, necessary. If you wanted to have a chat, we could always just, obviously, we could always just have a chat. You seem in a hurry to leave. <clears throat> well, you know, I, 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 could, I could hear people getting butchered, so I thought it was probably a good idea to leave. But if you wanted to have a chat, we could have a chat, as long as the door's open at the end. <laughs> 
these people have been hunting companions of mine. Oh, oh, that that nonsense. Yes, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I've had nothing to do with that. No similar problems of your own? Well, we're affiliated through our faith. <clears throat> More than anything. And, um, I understand faith. <laughs> and I, I, I stay here from time to time and uh, use it as a, you know, base of operations, a bit of gambling. You know, when they're not beating people up in the basement, normally that's where they've got tables with cards on. I bring my own beer, obviously. So with this bolt hole gone, where will you go next? Oh, there's many places across the city. Many uh, houses that will put me up, many uh, ladies that will take me for a night. Yeah, I will not lose a roof over my head, do not worry. Fair coin is of no interest to me. He looks genuinely confused. But their motives are. Oh, you don't know who I am. Should I? Oh, I thought the moustache would have given me away. <laughs> the name's Dan on Mir. The moustache. Thief extraordinaire. The Most people know about me. Sure it's given me away. Like <laughs> he's just admitted being a criminal to I a see. priest. <laughs> well, you know, he's always back. He's yeah, not the only priest in the room. Um, you seem like. A capable. I assume we've got friends out there. I can hear the clash of steel and people being killed. I'll have to tidy up after them soon. Yes. Are you still grappling him, or are you going to let him just get some spectators? Depends. Is, is, is he squished? still trying to? Uh, oh, I'll, he doesn't look now. He's kind of. He's got enough space to breathe. Okay. Um. Well, that's probably all you can get out of him in a round. Right. Until it's your turn. Yep, anyway. cool. Whom's turn? Right, Bagrick. Right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna smack him in the head again. I'm pulling my blow, so I'm not trying to kill him, just trying to knock him out, strike to stun. Okay. Don't miss. So he's well, I suppose he's on minus he's twenty, minus I'm on 20. plus forty. Yeah. Ooh, Thirty. Seventy four. Many. Yeah, minus at least two. Well, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, minus eight. One for him. Minus three for him. You got eight. Yeah, so okay. an eleven. So you reduce him to. Oh, uh, so it's, <laughs> it's the opposed strength endurance. Oh yes. As well. I, Sorry. I'm on five success minus levels. Twenty, and I'm on endurance. You said. Yeah, you're on endurance minus twenty for his two existing stun conditions. Eighty-two. So he's he... now got minus thirty. And he's hopefully now. How much damage did he do? Oh, so eleven. Uh, improvised plus one, twelve, yeah. seventeen, nineteen. Yeah, you reduce him to yeah zero wounds. Tears. But because you're such a gibbering, your blade, yeah. <laughs> a gibbering mess, um, we we'll say that he hits zero, uh, and because he's at minus thirty, okay. he, he passes out. Perfect. So he now has the unconscious condition. Cool. Uh, and he slumps to the floor. <laughs> Uh, he is really bat. I mean, you have bashed him around. Even though you're pulling your blows, yeah. using the flat of your blade, oh, hitting yeah, him around the he's head with a heavy object. He's got so. a cerebral hemorrhage. <laughs> yeah, so he might not know what day of the week he <laughs> yeah. is when you wake him up. Never start okay. with the head. The victim gets all fuzzy. So, next, Corvin. You've okay. reached the bar. Ah, try and get up. Okay. Well, not be stunned. So, endurance sure. test. Yes. Right. I can do this. I can't do this. <laughs> I'm stunned. I yeah. really got hit. Well, you can like get. Do you like clamber up the bar? So yeah. You're, like leaning on the bar, um, you can hear and while you're there. You're sort of like dazed. So you can so you're sure. Is Morgan <laughs> having a chat with someone in the kitchen? Uh, you're not quite sure. You can hear like a conversation going on. Like everything's okay. We're just having a bit of a chat when people are being horribly <laughs> brutalised in this room. Um, okay. It would then be their boss, but he's down. So next is Morgan. Would you consider making yourself available for hire? I'm always for hire. I may have need of a man of your talent. 
Well, I'm actually looking for a group of people as well. Oh? Yes. You know that old uh, castle up there? Mm. They've, um, no one's figured out how to distribute the taxes that are being collected. I see. Yes. And someone needs to redistribute the taxes for them. Um, but what I wanted to say to you was, you know, you should be careful. There are Altdorf patrols, the militia, they're all over the place. Mm. And um, Heinrich there, he says, pointing over your shoulder into the room. He's uh, He's got some of them in his pocket. We noticed. Yeah, so, you know, if you they're making a fuckload of noise back there. Mm-hmm. So uh, someone's probably run off to get the guard. And, and, and my advice, no matter how tough you are, don't fuck with the militia. Because there's a lot of them. I stay away from them. Uh, would you be familiar with the Crimson Moon, is it? Oh, it's a very fine establishment. Yes, one of the better ones on the docks. I enjoy a tipple there from time to time. Mm. If I were to potentially contact you in future from perhaps there? I I know... Uh, hang on. Damn you. Let me get to the right page. <laughs> I know a person. Uh, Franz is a good friend of mine. Uh, leave a message with Franz and I'm sure... I'll pick it up in a day or so. Excellent. You know, I pop in there. It's a good place. They they keep an eye on the ducks quite well. So they have an eye of the boats and barges and things coming in and what's what's moving up and down the river. Perhaps you should uh, leave before those guards arrive. I would give you the same advice. And he goes to the door, opens the door, and he turns around and he goes... He just kind of looks at you like, hmm. And then he... Flees into Exit the night. into the night. Uh, Pastor, confused tour valve. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> um, right, then it's the... There's a ruffian left, isn't there? There is. And he's going to try and... Oh, do I go first? Oh, you do. Yes, you do. Then how about you, sir? Avenge me. <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely. You didn't say that in a French accent. <laughs> ah, he about yours. I can't say it. You can't say the letter F. About you. About you. <laughs> Your... No, sorry. Um, <laughs> I no. got four successes. Four, yeah, it is. Yeah, anyway, four successes. Okay, right. Um, oh, mm, oh. Yes. Now he lost his advantage, didn't he? He did. So he's on minus two successes. So I do him 17 points of damage in the 62, which is the body. How many points of damage? Uh, 17. 17. 17. Okay. So, minus his toughness bonus, you cut him in half. And as your blade cuts through, the top half of his body kind of slides with your blade. And he looks at you in, like, shock and astonishment as his kind of entrails and things slough onto the floor. Become his (laughs) entrails. Splashing all over the rest, the quiet, silent, frozen wrestling people who are still there, like, what the hell is going on? Splatters out and, like, one of them gets, like, a slick of digestive juices on the face. Uh, And his body kind of slides with your blade and you, like, pull it out and it, like, literally falls to the floor. Poof. Uh, and he's Come dead, on. and his legs then fall backwards, uh, and various bits of mess kind of roll out across the across the floor. Uh, he is dead. They're all dead now, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. unconscious. The unconscious one. Yes. The um, the the guys on the floor who are wrestling look up at you because you're kind of clubbing that guy and dealing with. Oh, him. he's down. Yeah, no, I know, but you've kind of been over there and you just cut this guy in front of them and you're kind of standing there with, like, blood on your blade and, like, quite an imposing uh, view and they just sort of look at you and go, can we go? (laughs) Just hold one there, my friends. I need to speak to my dwarf. (laughs) (laughs) My dwarf? So possessive. Okay. (laughs) My dwarf. Um, Mercy, sir. Who is this man that you have captured? Seemed to be the boss. He was the barman, as far as I'm aware. Would you like to interrogate him? Or is this something we should probably do away? Oh, uh, miss, uh, monsieur, are you okay over there? Bye. Do you need anything? Some wine? Well, maybe not the wine. 
Um, can I look over at all of the kind of people that were wrestling and asking to leave and just in a very intimidating way, given I've probably got quite a lot of blood on me oh, yeah, yeah. axing that guy in the head. Yep. You want to forget you ever saw us, manlings? Bugger off. They're just wide-eyed, sort of scramble around. to intimidate? It seems that... No, 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 you don't need to roll to intimidate. That's fine. That, 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 kind that of imparting fine. a forget you ever saw you us. You realise that over on the side, near the fireplace, there is, um, there is some money in little strange piles and they run over and for a moment they look like they're going to argue about whose money is whose but then they all put their hand on a distinctive pile and take the money away I find killing the yeah. peasant class always yeah. a very messy affair <laughs> Roderick's going to do Roderick's going to give you the look that you are just insane when you say the killing the peasant class thing yeah they are peasants these are definitely peasants right They oh yeah, yeah. these guys are peasant as it comes they're just not working a field. There'd be more. I will pocket the pouch left for me. Okay. Nice. And then make my way out of the kitchen. Back into up these guys. To here. Okay. I'm just gonna sling the guy that I've knocked out. Well, actually, I'm gonna firstly pat him down for weapons. The unconscious guy. Yeah. His sword is on the floor. Cool. So. Was he carrying anything else when I patted him down? Uh, no. He seems to. Be, uh, this seems to be his place. So he's like. Clearly, he doesn't need to like keep all his stuff on his. Cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna sling him over my shoulder and sure. start stomping towards the basement where we live. Before you, well, as you do, as you do, you do that. You turn around, and Morgan kind of steps in from the kitchen. Uh, Corvin looks dazed. I'm confused. patting him on the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get it out. Okay, but at a glance, he's not dead. They are. So yeah. I just start lining them up. Okay. Um, uh, while you walk past, can I check sure. his neck to see, the guy's neck to see if he's got the tattoo? Uh, the unconscious guy? Yes. Yes, he has. Ah. Yeah. Are you tall enough to hold him, or will his feet just drag on the floor? <laughs> I'm 4'11", and he's kind of over my shoulder, uh, so he's not like twice my height. Um, it's just going I have the heel skill. <laughs> can I utilise the heel skill? <laughs> on, on yourself? Him? On him? Well, for stun, does it fix conditions? Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm not very good at it, but I'll give it a good give it a solid go. Let's see how many college try. Uh, no, no, no. I'm just him on the back. He pokes his <laughs> finger in a wound. I will, I will see this. <laughs> Sigh. Blessing of tenacity. Remove one condition. Ooh, cool. no longer Ooh, stand. Fancy. Do you have to make a, a hand up? pray roll? Um, it's just a blessing. Yes, so yeah, but, pray roll. Yep. Yeah. But you just have to pass a pray roll. Dear more. Please Which I did not. Oh. Oh. Was that a hundred? Yeah, that was a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll try and give him a hand up anyway, and then continue with what yeah, I was I mean, more. Oh, no, I said... Right just... stand there. just rub it out. <laughs> I love you, Spanish. I mean, more. <laughs> <laughs> and then... They, they don't get that. Slip of the tongue. Slip of the tongue. Continue with my work. Okay, you're doing your work. Yeah, I'm going okay, to stomp cool. down to the basement where we left the guy tied Okay, as, as you're about to get to the, the stairs, you hear a voice from down, downstairs saying... No. Did, did, is everything okay up there? Is it... This is the dwarf? Uh, Mr. Dwarf? Just grand, manling. Oh. Can you come and untie me, please? Oh, yeah, I'm already... <laughs> I know, you know, he's Where's just, you know, as you're hat? heading... No, you'd ungagged oh, him, okay. but he was like, no, I'm, I'll just wait here. Okay. You know, it was going to take too long. Um, so... You go downstairs and uh, untie. Unceremoniously dump the guy I'm carrying on the floor for a minute. Just okay. kind of thump. You can see now in the basement, uh, he kind of just kind of stormed in and then went up the stairs. Yeah. I'm, There's other rooms. I'm going to take my helmet off so I can see more clearly. Oh, oh you take your helmet off. There's like lights and colours and shapes. And, um, no, there's a... There's you a, take your helmet off and he goes, <laughs> good grief, you're a dwarf. <laughs> There's obviously the entrance you came in, which is like the cellar door with the yeah. ramp there, and there's uh, two doorways. So it looks like it's a fairly elaborate base. Normally it's okay. like a dug basement, no kind of walls or anything. You know that uh, a lot of the town was rebuilt by dwarves, though, uh, and the construction here does look quite good for the shithole that's upstairs. I'd probably be able to tell if it was dwarven. It's not dwarven, okay. but it seems that someone's learned some lessons from dwarves. So it's shoddy work, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to kind of pull out my utility knife and... Sword. No, yeah. it's, no I'm joking. It's, a I'm knife, joking. But it's not yeah. a weapon, is Call it? Call that a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> and then just kind of... 
Okay. Cut the bonds. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, they've been... Uh, Do you know what's through these doors? Um, I, uh, I, I thought I saw crates and things through there, but I, haven't, I don't know what's in there. I kind of shrug, and while he's kind of rubbing his thing, I'm just going to walk over to it and boot it open. The one that he didn't know? Yeah. Okay. You walk over and you boot the door, uh, and inside there is a, a, a room with some round tables and chairs around them. Uh, in the corner there's a small bar. There's no one in here. This looks like some sort of gambling room. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, that's, that's what you can see when you just kick the door open. Back room game. Oh, yeah. Can I search the room for things? Sure, sure. Things make of interest. A, make, Table, a, make a chair. <laughs> things make of a, interest. Deck of cards. <laughs> comes back up the door. I found a chair. <laughs> yeah. Dice. Um, it looks yeah. suspicious. <laughs> okay, well, well that's going to take you a little while yeah, yeah. to have a look around. <laughs> Uh, Corvin and Gail, what are you doing while Morgan is preparing? I'm going to try and not be stunned. <laughs> okay, we'll say that you can get over the stunt. It's only really when you're in combat. Yeah, I say it's the rounding. Yeah. yeah, but you do gain fatigue. <clears throat> I gained fatigue. Oh, I know what the problem was. I went to lay my hand on his shoulder and obviously it slicked off with all the whatever he's been rolling in. Yeah. <laughs> he's actually surprisingly clean for for someone who's been in this, what looked like quite a messy fight. <laughs> and a barrel of anchovies. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, uh, what's yeah, fatigue going to Fatigue means me? you have minus 10 all until tests. you get an hour's sleep. Okay. Hour uh, there, monsieur. We'll get you back to the porch and you can have a nice sleep. <laughs> <clears throat> right. Uh, so... What have we learned? <laughs> um, well, the gentleman that is the dwarf is kidnapped is a member of the Crooked Hammer gang, the people who are trying to kill us. Um, he has now taken the man, I don't know where. I assume downstairs. I don't know why. Um, so, uh, productive. Productive evening. Let's go down there then. <laughs> um, I, I suggest the guards might be on their way. <laughs> Perhaps we should leave. Oh. I'm sh- I mean, as you look out the door, you can see there are a collection of sort of street punks and urchins kind of hanging around looking in the direction of the tavern now. Because oh. it's pretty clear from outside what's, you know, the lights are on, <laughs> there's the front door and windows and stuff, and you've just been all fighting away. So um, you, you probably I just go up to the door and just put the bolt down <laughs> okay there we go <laughs> now we are secure yeah. um Mr. Priest Still. I yeah. think we should leave I mean maybe you should uh, bless them faster <laughs> we have very limited time I don't know why I'm looking at my wrist we don't have watches <laughs> There's some footsteps on the stairs, and oh dear. a man comes up the stairs, oh, and okay. he's like rubbing, like he's got really sore wrists. Um, um, no, oh no, 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 no. no. Um, your 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 dwarf friend's searching the gambling den downstairs. Um, I didn't want to disturb him. He looked quite intent. I don't know what he was looking for. Who are you? Oh hi. Uh, yes, thank you for rescuing me uh, and 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 helping me. Uh, my name is. You? My name is Rupert Ebenhauer. Um, uh, I, 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 I've been in Ubersreich, uh for a while now, and um, no, I'm a, I'm a rat catcher by trade. Um, and um, there's been a, what can I say, a bit of a dispute between um, lower organisations. Should we put it that way? I think I got on the wrong end of it. I was they, they thought I had information that I. I didn't have, so I'm, I'm you know, I'm just th- thankful for you, f- for your help. Um, these these guys are pretty disgusting um, thieves, ruffians, and thugs. You know, they've got no, they've got no class or style. Um, you know, even though, even just though, though rat even though I hunt rats, Melina makes sure that we represent ourselves well since all the trouble happened, you know, when when the Orc Dwarf people came um, and, and decided to kick everyone out. And, you know... Are we familiar with the name Melina? Um, it 
it rings a bell, but you're not not sure. You've met a couple of Molinas, but he... who's this Molina? Watch out. <laughs> right oh, to it. No chest. wonder you're the wizard. Um, <laughs> Went to college. <laughs> well, Molina, Molina's been in the city for years. She's run the Rat Catchers Guild for most of those years. She's um, she's a tough lady, and she does her job exceedingly well. But um, recently, when uh, the Emperor sent down the troops, um, this you know we've we've been usurped, you know, and they brought with them um, Valent. He um, him and his crack team of exterminators came into the city and uh, we've been we've been forced forced out of all the good jobs and all the all the you know all the big payouts you know so we've had to do a few other things you know try and make try and make our money where we can it's it's bumped up against these guys you know what can I Gonna say. Well, we're having a few altercations with these crooked Hallow chaps as well. Where can we find this uh, Molina? Could be uh, maybe we can help each other out at some point and get some more information. Well, I, I can I can take you to her. She's she's been in the city for ages. She knows she knows all the tunnels and all the streets, and she's she's you know I've I've picked up a lot from her. You know, so I, all I've only been in Uber's like a short period of time. I think I know my way around pretty well. Um, but yeah. Um, maybe not tonight, monsieur, as we probably should go back and rest, but can we, where can we find you in, on the morrow? Um, well, where are you staying? I'll, I'll find you. We're staying in the forge, aren't we? Yeah. Those two girl, yeah, girls. Yeah, Falconberg Forge. There, there's a pub attached to it, isn't it? Uh, it's sort a, of. Sort of pub. It's like, it's not one that's open. It's just like an old tavern that's not used anymore. Yeah. <clears throat> So we are staying at the Falkenberg Forge. Oh, is that, is that the new one? We. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, so new to town then. Uh, oh, fairly I, new. I, yeah. I, I mean, I would. We've been here long enough to make some enemies. I mean, I would, Indeed. I'm sure I would have recognised either of you two. Oh, you know, oh, I mean, there are a lot of dwarfs <laughs> in the city, but there's not many of whatever you are. And not many knights wandering around. Um, okay. Well, I will come and come and see you tomorrow, then. Yes. At the Falkenberg Forge, for your assistance. That would be great. And I, I, you know, we've got loads of it. We can share information and things. But we need help. We need some help. These guys are assholes, and they're there. Anyway. You've had enough of my problems. Thank you so much for saving me from a, what was going to be a serious beating. Yeah. I mean, it, you might want to leave out the back. Good idea. And he <laughs> starts to head to the back. His camp is up. How is the mooring going? He didn't look at you the whole time, <laughs> by the way, that you're doing your stuff. I mean, you can do a whole full thing, or you can you can do a quick. There is a quick version that you can do. Yeah, no, I'll line them all up and do the lot at yeah. once. Okay. Yeah, you kind of, as he mm -hmm. leaves, you kind of finish. <clears throat> Done. Excellent. Then we should leave. Um, let's go and find this dwarf. Z dwarves. Z There's a bit of crashing and walloping from downstairs. How did you do? I'm not crashing about the place. No, like you're like. Shouting oh, off a cabinet chair. Um, <laughs> the yeah, I'm not wrecking up. The okay, you're not wrecking up the place. No, I've I got you're five just... success oh, levels. Okay. okay. I mean, if there's a drawer, I might like leave it open. But find a chair. Yeah. You find a very fine um, uh, cask of dwarf and alcohol. <laughs> oh yeah. In the basement. In there's like this. Also, little... if they're, I mean, are there like cots or anything around? Cloths. Yeah. Yeah, there are a few. Um, while I'm kind of searching, I'll be kind of... Wiping the blood off. Yeah. yeah. Making it a bit less obvious. I've just hacked someone in the head. Yeah. Um, so you, you, that's fine. You kind of clean... Just as I'm kind yeah, of walking yeah, sure. around. Um, but in the... in the, the little, It's kind of like a little 
bar they've put together, you know, like yeah. a little crappy thing. But so they can serve the gamblers and that kind of stuff. There's a little cabinet behind. There's a few crap bottles of wine and ale and stuff. Uh, but like tucked right in the back, there's a little um, barrel. Um, Nothing else of interest in there. Not really. It seems like this. Maybe they've they've collected all the monies somewhere else. Okay. Uh, and stashed it. Uh, yeah, for I would go and look, poke my head in the other room afterwards. Okay, in the other room there's a storeroom, uh, and there's a staircase that goes up to the back room behind the kitchen. I'm just going to kind of probably open a couple of the crates and just have a look, see if there's anything of it's note like, or interest. There's, uh, in some of them, there's uh, foodstuffs, that kind of thing, there's bags of barley and crap like that. Um, but in a couple of the crates, you, you prize open, and it looks like there's kind of... It's not nothing any anything really expensive, but like yeah, I'm trying to see clearly, if there's something of interest. Someone's clearly raided a couple of houses and taken all the shiny things from them. <laughs> that kind of thing, you know. And People's in here, possessions. there's the odd thing that's quite interesting. The odd little trinket. There's a couple of um, brooches. It's a necklace. Um, you know, candelabras. Those kinds of what things. What I would guess is very much clearly stolen stuff. Oh yes. Um, how big are these crates? Uh, they're not huge. They're kind of tea chest kind of. Okay, so I could you know. probably carry one. You could carry one. How many are there? There are uh, five. Okay, the I'll call Torvald. Them. Sorry. I'm going to call Torvald. Okay. Torvald uh, comes back. I'm going to uh, kind of take the lid off one and put the barrel I was of dwarven beer in. Brother, I, I was um, listening to the, them teaching them the ways of uh, thieving. Scum. Aye. This is what they've been nicking. We can't take it all, but I think we should take some. That's and rummaging around in it. I think we should take some and see if we can get it back to the owners. How are we going to do that, brother? I don't know, leave it outside the militia house. <laughs> well, then the militia will have it. Have you seen them? Well, if you take it back to Tangam and he might know what to do. Right. He picks one up. Also found us a little a little treat, I'll say, showing him the barrel. Oh. Which would you cars. prefer, beer or whiskey? Beer. Okay. Dwarf, obviously. Yeah, sure. Yep, it's some proper dwarven beer. It's not Bugman's, but it's... Yeah, it's Dwarven Ale. Yes. Yeah. It's Mad Eyes <laughs> Mellow. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to kind of... <coughs> Excuse me. You're excused. Anyway. Just ask me, is there a rule book? Okay. I didn't want to use your shiny one. Cool. Uh, shiny oh, one. Okay, then yeah, I'm just going to kind of... And then we can get that way around. There grab the stuff and start walking up. Okay, cool. So you come upstairs with a, with a box full side. of stuff. Um, he's carrying... It's a it's a cask of Borgans. I uh, just want to get this right. Did he come back up the stairs? Yeah, he's coming up the stairs. Um, and uh, it's, a, it's a cask of Foambeard's Delight. Where's the unconscious fella? He's downstairs. He's on the floor. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you trade the unconscious man for a barrel of beer? <laughs> um, well, it's only like a... Yeah, it's like a little thing. Yeah, yeah it's, that's kind of balanced on top. He's down there. These are clearly the possessions of all the people these bastards have robbed. Did he tell you anything useful? Still unconscious. <laughs> I don't know if the shiny one wants to bring him back to the forge. The shiny one. Oh, I've referred to him as the shiny yeah, one. Oh, is that me? Him. Yeah. Maybe either of them, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not the shiny, the shiny one. one. Not shiny. <laughs> the awesome one. <laughs> um, so I need to change your nameplate on the screen. I can't read that. I can't. There's three more crates as well, but I can't carry them all. Neither can I. <laughs> Brad says, maybe we shouldn't steal them all, brother. 
We're not stealing them, we're trying to return them to their owners. You know what I mean. If every bit of loot has come from here, then the guards will have even more reason to follow after us. Shrug. <laughs> right. Um, what are you is, doing? Is everyone in the room? Uh, the guy that you freed is gone. What happened to the other fella? Oh, he's a rat catcher. Sent him on his way. He's uh, going to come call for us tomorrow. Uh, he might have some good information for us. Another shrug. <laughs> Where's the one that talks funny? <laughs> he's in the oh, he's over there. He's right there. <laughs> oh, oh, he's actually there. Yeah. Okay. I was just John is in, but, but Sagal is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can lug that, that manling back to the forge. You might be a good source of information. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll go down and try and find him. Is he in... Oh, he's just oh, yeah, like, he's on... on the floor in the <laughs> yeah. middle of the room. He's in the basement. <laughs> he's in the basement, isn't he? Yeah. 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 Um, oh god, this I can't bend over. I'm wearing full plate mail. <laughs> I'll yeah, just, quite, I'll just, quite well actually, I'll yeah, just yeah, put a like hand it. and like give him a look. I can carry a body. Ah, mercy, <laughs> mercy. We should probably leave soon, though. That's going on a mug. The guys will be here soon. Ah, what a team we make. <laughs> Indeed. Because he's obviously like clanking and trying to work out how to kneel down. I'm just like, I'm gonna, perfect. I'm gonna walk out. Actually, you, you are the right. Knight the armor is quite articulate. Yeah, you could do a lot. You've got to get on a horse. Yeah, I mean, they, they, people have made like videos of them doing like assault courses. And it's it's a Hollywood myth. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is a Hollywood myth. Yep. that is true. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll tap the barrel and go, to the forge! <laughs> I'm just going to walk. Yeah, okay, right. So you're going to head back to the Falkenberg Forge. Okay. Taking uh, a circuitous route. Oh, but on the way, I do want to say to more. Where did you disappear to in the bar? <laughs> While the scuffle was going on. I was um, checking for any other threats. Did you find any? I don't think so. Wondrous! <laughs> Drop that. By the way, he's so happy and chipper, yeah. and Morgan is so dour and moody. He's not a little bit terrified of Morgan. <laughs> um, overhearing this, I'm going to say to Torvald in Kazlid, yeah. off job, manlings. Uh, I know, brother. <sighs> I am starving. <laughs> And with that, we'll head off into the night. <laughs> yeah, okay. we're, we're just going to fire a circuitous route, head back to the forge. Sure, sure. So you guys head back to uh, the Falkenberg Forge, and uh, Wendelina is there, and she welcomes you in. Um, so how was your evening? I see you Covered had, in blood. I see you had <laughs> an interesting night. We will need... Food and rest, if that is okay. Of course. Uh, we found uh, in that place uh, crates of people's possessions. We bought two. I don't know if there's a way we can get them back. Perhaps Mr. Perhaps uh, Tangerman knows where we can do it. He's asleep at the moment. I don't mean now. No. <laughs> Fair. 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 Yeah, Wendelina. <laughs> 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 Didn't mean that. I was by Greeks in a monologue. <laughs> <coughs> no, I love that. <laughs> um, right. Okay. So what? So what happened? They were beating up some rat catcher in the basement. We put a stop to it. Rat catcher. One of Melina's lot or one of the other guys? Yes, one of Melina's. He's uh, going to oh. drop by here tomorrow. Well, what do you know of this Melina? <laughs> well, she's a uh, tough but fair uh, leader of the old guild. So there was a rat catcher's guild here for a long time. I mean, it's a city with sewers, you know, near the docks. You get lots of rats. We had a lot of rats when we got here. So we asked around and it's interesting. When the forces came from Altdorf, it seems that a rival rat-catching crew arrived and forced them out of their establishment. But these guys were like ex-battlefield veterans who'd gone into rat-catching. It's really weird. I don't understand. 
This guy's name's um, are you Farland. Talk, are you talking about Skaven? Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Magrick right. is completely ignoring yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. she just laughs. Whatever. Um, well, you're not just talking about rats, are you? Oh, no, they were like rats the size of dogs, like Ro- in here. Rollins of an unusual size? I don't believe they <laughs> exist. <laughs> anyway, we had to contract in some rat catchers, but apparently, you know, talking to local militia, the the all contracting for that kind of work is now has to go through the new guildmaster. Um, so we, we had little choice, but, um, you know, we, we were approached by... Uh, someone in Melina's crew to see if they could take the job because they knew we just moved in. But um, I mean, our hands were tied, you know, so we couldn't. But um, there, uh, I've I've heard that it, it's a bit of a shame. They're a good bunch. They knew what they were doing. They weren't exterminators, or you know, they 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 patrolled quite well. It seems that. Uh, Varland is really uh, obsessed with the southern sewer system as well. They, they uh, apparently they take less and less jobs in the northern sewers. Why? I don't know. Clearly, bloody looking for something. Well, maybe, or maybe there's just more rats there, and they've got to get more jobs there, or something. I don't know. If you're just talking about bloody rats, it seems excessive to have military veterans going after them. Well, they're, you know, they're pretty battered guys. They've got scars, they've got missing hands and things, from what I've heard. They're a rough, tough bunch. But um, they've they've retired into rat catchery. I, I don't know, I haven't met them. I haven't met... I, you know, we, we had this guy turn up, like, viciously took out all these rats you know and then they went we probably need to put him somewhere I'm going to gesture to uh, well, while she was while she's been talking about while she's been talking about oh our hands were tied I'll be making sure that I've got this uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, tied and Morgan's probably put stuff. a sack over his head or something yeah, I'm just going to kind of stick a thumb in the direction of the Unconscious guy. He's the barman of the place. Thought it might be an idea to question him. Somewhere where he won't see you. Right. You got a basement or some cellar or something? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the storerooms downstairs. Got we'll tie him up to a chair down there. See how the bugger likes it. Well, fill your boots. Um, if you guys want to take him down, I can get you some food. We'll interrogate him in the morning. Okay, who's going to keep an eye on him? It's not my job to do that. I can. I can take a watch. Oh, thanks, you guys. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get some rest. <laughs> um, <gee. laughs> thanks, Morgan. Um, right, well, uh, I'll toss some food. I think there's some food left over from dinner earlier on. Uh, I'll bring that up to your rooms next door. <clears throat> Mercy, mademoiselle. Uh, we, we prepped some rooms for you while you were out. Just thought you might want some of the sleep. As well as Sorry, Patrick Melina. Sorry, <laughs> to yeah. our audio listeners. <laughs> as well as Melina and this Varland, are there any other individuals of note that we should be aware of? In the city, there are lots it's nearby nearby that you may have had dealing with already um we haven't had we've tried to keep a low profile here so that we can sort of get get working on you know our forge without many prying eyes there is an in, there is an interesting uh there's a gray wizard's tower that you may have seen on your way in to the city Mm. which you now recall. <laughs> Magrick spits on the floor. Um, and um, we've been trying to arrange for an audience for Mr. Tangerman with uh, the wizard. Um, you know, grey wizards have their ways of seeing things. Um, 
we're trying to understand what's going on in the city. There's lo there's lots of. Uh, let me check. Sorry, let me just get to the right page. I'm going to make an what I'm going to call the Uber list, and it's going to have it's going to be a big spreadsheet with all the NPCs in and all their locations and all their allegiances. Um, which Seeing I things how so. Uh, Grey Guardian Christoph Engel, um, and he's had uh, visitors from Altdorf in the past, uh, and we think they may have connections to people that know what's going on. Mm. So we are curious as to um, well, Mr. Tang is curious as to, you know, and a wizard in the city is a person of note, and we'll, we'll have had. Uh, conversations with people that are above and outside of our station. So, Gregory calls Snort. No doubt. He has probably had conversations with the new leaders of the city. Um, it is difficult. I, I would suggest that you have a conversation with Mr. Tangerman in the morning. He will, no doubt, have had a think and... Uh, have some more connections for you to follow. Have any of the other guilds been replaced? Well, a lot of the guilds have got in line with the uh, with the new regime. The mm. town council has been given a lot more power now that um, Graf Sigismund is gone. Um, in particular, this is what I did. Um, well, there's Ernst Möller, Burgermeister, uh, and he's particularly friendly with uh, the Carter's Guild. Mm. They seem to be in ascendancy, as Mr. Tangerman put it. Um, a, a lot of the guilds are seem to be benefiting, but um, there's there's disquiet among some of them. Some of the more traditional ones. The dwarves obviously are not happy about the situation. Mm. Harry Haffen is um, upset, I think is the word Tangerman said. Um, and uh, Grodney Shawhammer um, was flat, flatly, apparently, refused conversation with the general when he arrived. You know, there's lots of rumours flying around. He refused, or was refused. No, oh, they said, oh, can we come and talk to you about the new setup? And he said, no, go away. I mean, they built the bridge, they built the sewers, they rebuilt half this town after it was destroyed in some big conflict a couple of hundred years ago. Um, and I think he was around when that happened. So you can imagine he's not happy that the relationship with the young Freuds has been mm. so swiftly um, removed. We saw some money changing hands between the uh, bar owner and the local militia, some sort of bribery going on. I oh. imagine that uncommon. Have you had any run-ins with the militia? Or Do you they... know how militia work? They're kind of like... They're kind of like a protection racket, really. Mm. Uh, but this one's just a real one. Uh, it seems that some of the sergeants think it's their opportunity to earn some money outside of their state pay. Which is disappointing. You'd like to think that... Very dishonourable. Indeed. Aye. They're all in the precinct up near Blackrock Castle. So they're um, housed in one central location? Well, most of the army is in the precinct. Mm. The militia move about, and some of them house in different areas. Um, Blackrock itself is uh, now under the control of uh, Lady Nut and the general. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so there are lots of troops moving around that area. I'd be, <laughs> you'd be insane to go anywhere near there right now because <laughs> they're looking for a reason to hit someone with a big heavy stick. Um, generally. I wouldn't trust the Altdorf militia. I mean, they're here. They don't know why they're here. They've been sent off other manoeuvres. 
you know, as far as I've heard it. And uh, they're not very happy about their reassignment, as it were. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of it's kind of a mess mm. right now, as you can tell. <clears throat> so we're trying to keep a low profile, keep Tangerman safe. Where would be a good place to meet any individuals who may be of use to us other than here? As I don't think inviting every stray to our doorstep sure. is the best idea. Definitely. Well, <coughs> there is... <laughs> he says, looking at Gail. <laughs> yeah, I've been here longer than you have. <laughs> no, you invited the rat catcher tomorrow. Yeah. Been here longer it's like than you random are. guy that we've just met. Oh yeah, I'll help. Oh yeah, come round our house tomorrow morning. It'll be fine. Easy. Our house. We've been here longer. Just turn into the right page. Yeah. <laughs> Morgan, you really should look on the bright side. Invited <laughs> my house. There is a. Um, there are a couple of taverns in the docks, which are a good place to go. Um, it depends on whether you want something that's actually nice quality and fairly safe, or if you want something that's a bit, um, you know, more appropriate for uh, other classes. Yeah, I mean, there, there's Rugger's boarding house. It's like the cheapest in in town. So many people in and out of there, you wouldn't know who's coming and going. So that could be a good place. If you were looking for a place to like invite people for a conversation, mm-hmm. or the other option I would think is probably the Red Moon Inn. It's a fairly good tavern. Mm-hmm. It's a big establishment. There's lots of rooms. There's a couple of bars. You know, there's a common one and a main one, and then a side one. And you know, it's close to the docks, so they've got a good view of stuff. So these are a couple of the better taverns I think near the docks, where it's busy. You can keep a low profile as long as you don't. Turn up and chop everyone's heads off. That may be the problem. <laughs> but yeah, they're two they're two places that I can think of off the top of my head. Thank you. We happy still to interrogate this fellow here in the forge? In the morning. Yeah, it might be good to like move him, get rid of him at some point, I don't know. Do that tomorrow night. Knock him out, drag him, dump him somewhere. Okay. Just so he doesn't know where we've come from. Sure. Sure. She's like, I'm going to go get that food. So she wanders off. I'll take him downstairs before he wakes up. Okay. You take him downstairs uh, and you tie him up um, to a chair. And... As suggested. Seems fitting. Yep. And you... Are you going to interrogate him now or are you going to wait till tomorrow? Nah, no, he's out. We'll leave him all night. <clears throat> okay. So we shall end with you having a fine meal <laughs> uh, and uh, getting yourselves to bed uh, to rest. It's been a, a, a fraught evening some, for some of you more than others. Good job, Corbin. <laughs> Is that you talking to yourself yeah. in the mirror? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Well done, Corbin. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, yes, we shall leave it there for episode two. Excellent. Hey. Thanks, guys. That was good fun. Um, thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, please don't forget to check out our links below for all our social media. Discord and our Patreon and the friends of the channel. Um, also, check out our other shows. We've got all the things. All the things. Vostok's <laughs> Chance, which is Scion. Soon to be finale. I Soon think. to be finale. Yeah. On the Edge of the Emperor's Light, which is Dark Heresy, which is Warhammer 40k for we Warhammer fans. Mm. Uh, and very soon we have starting Fractured Empire. Uh, which is my Star Wars game da, set after, da, da, da. Da, yeah, set after um, Return of the Jedi, uh, two years after Return of the Jedi. We also have loads of other things going on with an online flavour. We've got Starfall, yep. a D and D five E game, which is a Final Fantasy inspired setting that Ben's created, which is really cool. Um, and we may have some more online games coming soon. Ben and I are having a few conversations. Uh, we also have some 
of our other shows, uh, Star Trek Morpheus. We've got some D and D on there. We've got some other stuff. Traveler, Traveler, <laughs> Mage, Masters and Monsters. Some one shots. And the one shots. Mm. Go watch our Mothership one shot. And best left buried. That's awesome. Best left buried. Spire. Spire. Uh, all great stuff. Um, so yes. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Flint and Steel. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.